Today we're going to be unboxing a brand new Nuna Triv, having a look at what's inside the box and setting it up for first use. Alright, let's get started. They have these fancy pull tabs on their boxes. look like this we have our rear wheels some more packaging frame textiles and Body of the stroller, car seat adapters, and I believe front wheels. All right, we're going to remove the packaging and show you what's here. So here's what's included: you get your rain cover, your bumper bar, instruction and warranty information. Then you get two different options for car seat stuff: you get the ring adapter, and you get these uh, other separate car seat adapters. You have front wheels, rear wheels. You have a stroller with the seat attached, and you have a seat insert. All right. Let's put it together then. All right, first thing we're gonna do is unfold the chassis then, and that's just gonna flip right up and lock into place. Flip up the seat, there we go. You can do a little bit of adjustment. You can always adjust it later as well. Okay, we're gonna put the uh, wheels on then. So starting off with the rear wheels, just gonna slot them right inside until they click into place. Other side, go, and then pull this around the front, go, number one, and the other side. All right, wheels are in place. All right, we're going to mount in the seat insert, so we're just going to open up the buckles. And then the side buckles can pull away from the shoulder straps. There's a little Velcro at the top. The corresponding Velcro piece is just on the top of the seat. You just attach that. And then this is like uh, no rethread. So you just pull these shoulder straps in here, behind, and through. And then you have your side straps. And then just the central buckle. After we get that pillow through. There we go. Okay, last up then is the bumper bar. And there we go. Ready to go strolling. So in any case, that was our unboxing and assembly of the Nuna Triv. We will of course be making a review of this model as well as a few instructional videos. So if you're interested in those, then just stay tuned on our channel. Uh, one last note before we go is that, because uh, I probably won't put this in the review, but we bought the caviar color and it's not quite as black as it looks in the advertisement pictures. In fact, to me, it's a bit more like a sun faded black. So uh, if you are going for black type color, that's just a warning out there. In any case though, we hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, we ask that you subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. Thank you.